the time. Yeah, yeah, I was most of my last divorce. Kobe, tell us about Xavier I don't even know if I'm centered in the frame. I don't even know if you can hear me over the TV. I don't fucking care. This. I'm not exaggerating. I am not fucking playing it up. This is the worst bullshit I've ever seen in my fucking life. This is the Raw right after TLC, and TLC fucking sucked. I'm, I'm, I was editing the TLC review. And they, they do a segment with Chris Jericho, and it made no sense. And it, he makes, he, he sets a, it fucking sets a match where he has to make Paul Heyman fight in a match. Hold this, I, I don't even know if I'm in frame. You can keep it, turn it down. You can keep it running the fuck, I don't care if it's in the background. I don't, fuck this. They're talking, they're talking right now about, I'm not even shitting you. I'm not, they're talking about Biggie's ball sweating. <laughs> No, no, they're talking about, for five minutes, they're talking about how every part of Biggie sweats, and it won't stop, it won't stop, every part of him sweats, all of him sweats, he's, he's, and he's got lumps, he's got lumps all over, and they all sweat, I sweat all the time, so he just stands there, he stands there, and he sweats, he just starts sweating. His lumps, his sweat, and his, his five minutes. All fucking match is going on. They're not talking about the match, except how much fun they have, and how, how positive they fucking are, and about and they, they talk about apparently Biggie has a sweating problem, and that's his fucking gimmick now. His gimmick is that he sweats. His balls sweat. And he's got a, he's got a fucking, I'm not even fucking kidding you, I swear to God! His gimmick is he reaches in his, he reaches down to his balls, and he whips out a ball, this, this fucking towel, from his balls, and he wipes his forehead off with his ball sweat towel. And it, cause he sweats. All the fucking time! That's his gimmick! And all Kofi, all the fucking announcers can talk about the topic of conversation. This entire match is about how the fuckers he's got lumps. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. What the fuck are they talking about? Lumps. Are they, his muscles? But they're, they're not talking about his muscles. Because they're like, the next day they're like, lumps? What the fuck do you mean? And Kofi goes, I don't know. He just stands there and he starts sweating. Like, all over the place. We don't know what's causing it. We tried to figure it out. But he's sweating. All over the place. That's why he's got the towel. Because he's got a real sweating problem. You think I'm talking about it a lot? There's no talking about it! Fuck! This is pissing me off! And this is right after... This entire show makes no sense. Jericho fucking segment. He makes a match between him and Paul Heyman for no reason. So are the fucking artificial is the fucking reasons. He's fucking Seth Rollins comes out and for like he wants a rematch. And for no reason he starts like talking shit to fucking Jericho. And he's like, Jericho, you're old, you're washed up. You couldn't beat him. He's gonna beat me. You couldn't beat J and J Security. Hell, you couldn't beat Paul Heyman, who also, by the way, came out for no fucking reason. Mm -hmm. You can be Paul Heyman, and you knew right away this was leading to a match. And sure enough, he makes a fucking match. And you're like, he's not employed by the WWE. The whole point of his return was he's employed by Brock Lesnar. But no. Because if you if you show up on fucking WWE television, you could be forced to fight. And then they you have this fucking poll on the app where you have to choose what fucking fight it is. I knew they were gonna do that because I was just talking about it last night. How stupid the voting is. It's it's a street fight, 
no holds barred, or extreme rules. It's the same fucking match! What the fuck is the point? And then, he goes backstage, and he meets Fandango. The first thing Chris Jericho talked about when he came out to host, the first thing all of them talked about was how Chris Jericho won the Slammy for extreme moment of the year, for the least extreme moment, the mo least extreme thing that happened all that year. Which actually is why Paul Heyman came down. It was because the most extreme happen thing that happened was Brock Lesnar doing his shit. And also, I know... So, he comes out and he starts bitching about Fandango stealing a Slammy. So he wants his Slammy back. So, of course, the match he makes is between him and Paul Heyman. Not the obvious match between him and Fandango. So the first thing he does when he goes backstage is he talks shit to Fandango. He's like... I want my Slammy back. And Fandango was like, tough. <laughs> and he runs off. And I'm like, make the fuck, what the fuck are you doing? None of them, and then he has, Chris Jericho's all over this fucking show. And I don't know why. He makes a highlight reel between him and Rusev. And this is the most excruciating fucking thing until talking about Biggie's fucking ball sweat. Are they still fucking wrestling? Jesus Christ. Are, what were they chanting before this? They were chanting, New Day sucks. New Day sucks. Yeah, they've already <laughs> lost on the fucking New Day because they suck so much. And all we talk about, they, new, Biggie's ball sweat. How do they like that for a gimmick? The only gimmick I've seen that was, uh, that was involving bodily fluids and sounds was when they gave Natty a farting gimmick. Seriously, mm -hmm. that was her gimmick, was that she'd go backstage, they'd give her interviews, and she'd fucking fart all over the place. But so the, the, the highlight reel with Rusev, the most excruciating fucking thing I've ever seen Jericho do in my life, was they, they had Jericho come out and try to make fun of Lana's looks. He tried to make fun of how she... Are you fucking kidding me? She's like the best looking person in the entire company and trying to make fun of how... Yeah, Jericho, you're going to lose on that score, pal. Okay. You're making fun of her hair? Her hair looks... What the fuck is wrong with you, man? Then he starts, like, like a fucking child. Starts insinuating that him and Lana are fucking. So what? So what if they are? And then he starts dancing around doing that Lana and Rusev in a tree, K.I. What the f So what? Like, you're... Like, what is this, recess? <laughs> this and like I'm not even gonna do it I'm not even gonna sing this song because it's fucking annoying as piss and like how is it what again this is supposed to be the baby face this guy who is bullying Lana for how she looks be a star then teasing them about perfectly consensual sexual relations they might be having and then taunting them with recess level sing-songy bullshit and then going through the entire fucking song oh he forgot some of the words he forgot the words to it <laughs> the first comes love and then uh you know the rest fuck's sake chris and then fuck was it ryback just comes out for again like yeah like, he's got an issue with Rusev. For, for no reason. Again, no reason. And then, this is what fucking sent me into a rage. This is the first... I, I was pissed... This fucking sent me into a rage. So, Ryback comes out, just... <laughs> Ryback. And so, Rusev, being the heel, allegedly backs off. Okay? And so, then, I, I swear to God, I thought I was high. Some of you, one of you slipped me fucking acid at this point. I thought I'd lost the ability to comprehend the fucking English language. Oh, Jesus Christ. The Miz is... So, then, he's backing off. And the, 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 the babyface commentators are calling a Rusev a fucking coward. Okay. Then Bradshaw goes, what do you mean? What has Ryback done to, to deserve a match with Rusev? I'm like, Psh. What the fuck are you talking about? What what has he done to deserve a match with Rusev? And pretty much the, the other the baby is kind of like, what the fuck do you mean? He goes, Yeah, he's our he's our United States champion. What has he done to deserve a match? Okay, like this is shit on so many fucking levels. First off, if any of the commentators on the fucking in the fucking company 
He hates Rusev more than any of them because he's the most rah-rah USA guy among them. He's waiting for anybody, anybody to take out what? Oh, God. More of the bunny. Fuck this. I'm so glad I'm not looking at the fucking screen right now. Because <sighs> it's only going to make me more pissed. So, he, like, of any of them, JBL is anxious for anybody to take out fucking Rusev. And he's complaining? He's complaining about the Ryback, who, yes, he sucks. But he's, like, the biggest motherfucker yet to try to take on Rusev. So you'd think he'd be happy. Deserving of a match or not. Everyone is looking at the TV screen fucking dumbfounded. And there's Kane. What? They have nothing to do with each other. This is correct. I don't fucking know. So... <laughs> what the fuck is happening? It's like they let fan fiction writers in or something. Is Caesar back there? Is Kane turning babyface? No. Why is there a hot dog? You would think JBL would want anybody to challenge the guy in the vain hopes that they would be able to beat Rusev. Deserving or not, just to get that fucking United States title off of his, off of her and his waist. But no, now he's like, what the hell has Ryback done to deserve a match with our United States champion? Our United States champion? What? So then Cole would be like, what do you mean? He goes, yeah. Who's he beaten? Cole goes, and I go, uh, Kane? Last night? And Bradshaw goes, whatever. What? Kane, who is considered by, like, the, still the number two monster in the fucking company. So apparently Bradshaw didn't watch TLC last night, not that I blame him, except for the fact he was there! And now, he's completely, apparently, remembered that he's supposed to be a heel commentator, and has done a complete 180 on the Russian alleged heel. He must be a scroll. It's the only explanation I can come up with for I think this. everybody on this program is a scroll For this tonight. complete monkey shit program. That I'm watching right now. Why is Adam Rose fighting Kane? Why is Adam Rose fighting Kane? Why the fuck is Kane wearing slacks? I don't know. They breathe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to look at the bunny. Why the fuck is there a bunny? I, I hate this. I hate all of this. The show sucked last night, and. It, it's just getting worse. It went off the fucking rails. It, this is amazing. This is the most excruciating but Biggie's ball sweat. And they won't stop. I'm not even shitting you. Five minutes. They went through a commercial break to talk about how much Biggie's ball sweat. And they're trying to find out why. <laughs> we got don't a legitimate th medical condition. We don't know why. We tried to find out. But he just stands there, and all of a sudden, sudden, he sweats! That's why he's got a towel. He's in the middle of shit, he just starts sweating. That's why. Fuck this shit! I hate it! We're on 14 minutes. I I don't know what they're talking about anymore. And then they started, what was they say? What did they say in the middle of the match that I just. Something was, about Buffalo. But was it the high school, high school marmot Buffalo? They, they said like. Vic they, victory. High school know. marmot Buffalo victory over the ring. And I'm like, they started just saying words that had no connection to one another. And I, I firmly thought what was happening was so stupid. I had just lost all ability to comprehend the English language and syntax. Okay, whatever is happening in the ring, don't tell me what's going on. I cannot know what just occurred. If I find out what happened in the ring just now, it may very well end me.
I, 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 I can't. Kane choke slammed Adam Rose and the bunny at the same time. Now he's fighting. They're gonna the bunny. do that. They're gonna do that fake laughing thing. He just tombstoned the bunny. They're gonna do that fake laughing thing like it's the funniest fucking thing they ever seen in their life. I think he killed the bunny. Hey. Stop the camera. I can't take this anymore. I can't.